Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peda and today's video is going to be a Sarah haul. I hope you like the dress that I'm wearing. It is from Free People. I didn't get it in a size 6 since that was the only one available, but I think it's still okay. Little side loop, but what I love most about it is that it has pockets, which I think is so incredible. Free People can be a bit on the pricey side, but I think the items are really, really amazing and I've just noticed the quality is nice and I also noticed that there's not a lot of people wearing the same thing it's not like <laughs> Zara for example where sometimes you can kind of see people wearing the same thing as you but anyways we still love Zara because we can still pick some really amazing pieces so let's get into this video apologies if you hear my phone beeping me and my best friend are planning to go out tomorrow so we're trying to make the arrangements <laughs> I'm trying to make her cook so we can save some money on the food this is the first piece and I don't like it, it's doing too much. Uh, the front is nice, a bit sexy but not too much. Of course you can wear a bra and you know, all people like um, the bunny ears to cover it up. But the slits on the side are a little bit too much for me. This would be nice on a holiday, um, you know, a way where you kind of have a bit more freedom I guess. So you kind of have the weather to wear this. I just think it's a little too revealing for me. I would have preferred if this was like closed. Yeah, the colour is gorgeous of course and it looks fabulous for my skin colour. Material is nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't really like it. I just think it's too sexy for my liking. £46 in a size small. When I say it's worth the money, it's really hard to say when things are worth the money because I buy a lot of my things in the sale, so I don't really pay full price for a lot of things. So I have to really love something for me to pay that kind of money. I, I don't really like to go above £50 for something. And for that, it has to be that I'm gonna either the fabric and the construction is incredible or it's something that I can wear multiple times and it's decent quality. So for this, no. And I was, as I was saying, this dress is not worth the money. It looks really nice. I like the colour of it. I don't like this line that goes all the way down. Wish they could have got rid of that and just left it on the sides. My problem with this dress is the construction of it is actually quite poor. So if you come to the top, it's like, I don't know how they've done this material. It just looks really cheap at the top here for me. And it looks like it's just about to break. Like one of these days I'm going to bend over and it's going to break. The straps also hurt. They're really uncomfortable. Um, some loose threading. The bottom as well. I don't like this. I like the colour of it. I think it will look nice and incredible with a decent iron and then, you know, some nice gold jewellery or even silver. And it will look great online, but it's not something that I'm going to reach to. It's not something that I want to really keep my wardrobe for £50. It has to be something that I can wear like at least five times, you know, that I can I can sit down and say, here's five occasions where I can wear it and actually wear it. And this is like, and I have something similar in this colour. So. <laughs> and the straps are so annoying. Like they, they don't have, they're not adjustable, are they? No. So I can just imagine even being larger sized here, it would not be nice. And this is a size small, love the colour, I love what they were going for, but just don't think it's worth it for me. Okay, this dress, I don't like it, I think it looks really really cheap, it looks something that I would buy on like Boohoo, pretty little thing, nothing wrong with those brands, it just sell a certain item, and this does not give me Zara. I got an extra small and I definitely should have sized up since I cannot zip it up. The colorway is nice but it's just, you know, cheap. Like it looks, they're trying to sell this for 46 pounds for this. And I'm pretty sure I can go to Boohoo Prito thing right now and get this for like closer to half the price. Well, I don't know, I've never really shopped there, I don't know how cheap it is, but I think I'm correct right I think so yeah this is not nice the front is really but then I didn't really zip it up so yeah I need to get a size small I got an extra small it's 46 pounds not worth the money if you like it it's up to you I will still wait for the sale I just don't think this is really nice 
lovely for summertime and you could definitely accessorize it well. The things about Zara things is that everything that you buy, you can wear it really, really well if you accessorize do your hair well. But some things I just don't think is worth the price. It's a lot of money to spend. You know, fifty pounds is a day's wage for most people, or a good number of people. Um, so I just don't think it's worth it. But here is the bag. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, and yes. I absolutely love this color. I love green. I've been in a really green mood lately, and this is a lovely green. Very more like spring and autumn, but you could definitely wear it in summer because you don't always have to wear really bright, colorful things in summer. You can also wear things a bit dark. It works so well with the afro as well. I love the cutouts. Price range acceptable, thirty-three pounds. Very nice. And then the bottom as well. Nice material. It's got a good stretch to it. You don't have a zip on this side here for easy access in and out. And then the elastic at the back, which I love, and the front, because it means everyone can wear it. You know, it doesn't matter what size you are up here and down here, because sometimes it's not always like equal. Yes, 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 yes. So size so small, thirty-three pounds, and a must. Look at these clouds. They're so cute. I hate these, like, I always end up cutting them and I just chuck this in the drawer. <laughs> but what I do to not forget things is I take a picture of myself in all my dresses, usually just in front of the mirror. Sometimes if I forget to, I'll just take from when I was out. And then I put them on my phone. And when I'm looking to go out, or oh, I always write whether I've worn them or not, and sometimes I'll write away like one times two times three, whatever. And then what I plan to do is wear the things that I haven't worn yet and then I just go through them like what has been worn, what has been marked. And yeah, that's how I managed to keep it all up here. And then I can just chuck it in like some drawers. This solution. So here's like what it looks like. The camera will kind of struggling. Um, but I can just go through, scroll through my dresses. For example, this one. Excuse the messy room. Um, oh, I actually wore this one. I need to update this. So I'll just write. In the edit, I'll go to there and I'll write in the pen. And I'll just say worn. And then, yeah, that's done. So when I'm scrolling through, I can just see, oh, I've already worn this before. I've never worn that. So if I have an event, I can just decide what to wear based on my pictures. Currently, have how many pictures in here? 116. Lol. Is that how many dresses I have? I think so, probably. <laughs> so this is one of my items that I find from Zara. The quality, where is it? The quality of Zara. This does not feel Zara. I literally had to wear a bra underneath it because it's so cheap and see girl and it looks a mess. I, I can't even say one nice thing about this. It looks a mess. Size small, £33. Definitely not worth the money. Rather buy all of X and the rest of the money could be for transportation. <laughs> That's actually what I'm going to do um, after this video. I'm going to go um, to my um, nearest Olopex store and get number zero and number six, I believe, because I have three, four, five, a couple of two threes, two fives. <laughs> I know so much money, but I want my hair to finally go because it doesn't grow above. I guess it stays like here and it struggles and it just gets like splits. Anyways, maintain. Not worth your money, just it's not worth your money at all. No, 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 no. It's a tie up effect, but still not worth your money. Not worth it at all. Again, I love that colour green. And then there's this dress, my mum absolutely loves it. She wishes it, it could be hers. My only thing is, like, it just feels a bit big and the embroidery. It's okay, it has a little bit of an itchy effect, you do feel it when it's on. I just thought this would be amazing like India. I don't know why, just what I just thought like just traveling in India. I don't know if I ever go because I am a bit scared to go with myself as a woman. Um, just because I just heard some things. I feel more comfortable with a man. It's £50 size small, I think I could definitely size that up to a size extra small. But you know, do let me know if you are Indian yourself or you travel there. It's just because I've watched some horrible videos like on YouTube with this really famous one of the girl who went by herself and she just had this horrible experience. But I think it looks much better with a belt. 
and here is the back. There's just certain dresses that they need about. So yeah, a bit of expensive one, but it does have all this embroidery, which I think is what you kind of are paying for. And they give me very like gardeny vibes, and as I say, India. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks really looks so nice there. And fit with like the style, I guess. Now I really like this. I know it's super see-through and wearability is a bit low. I don't know how I would classify it, but I just think it looks incredible. I love all the detailing. So it's aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Maybe you could wear it as a beach cover-up, like just if you're wearing like a swimsuit underneath. It's it's quite expensive. It's forty six pounds, and I got it in size small. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. And if I wanted just to put my belt on, do you know what I also hate is bras. I went to Marks and Spencer. That's where I always get my bras, and I got these black and white ones, and they just do not fit. I need to mess around with them, and you know, see if I can adjust the straps, and things. Oh, I've just been a nightmare for them. Yeah, no, it makes it too short. <laughs> no belt. But yeah, quite nice. <laughs> it's still <just> tight. <laughs> but um, I really, really like this. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You could wear jeans, I think. Yeah, I think you could get away with wearing jeans or like shorts. And then like a bra top. Yeah. So, oh no, a bra top. Well, yeah, you could just cover the rest. So I would personally do bikini top, bikini bottoms, and then shorts underneath. That's my personal look. Now, this definitely needs a good iron, but it's giving me like beach wedding vibes, like you're just alone with your boyfriend and you decided to get married at the beach. Um, do I like it? No. <laughs> it's just, I wouldn't wear it. It's just 50 pounds size small. It doesn't fit very well either. It has this like bra effect strap and then it's where you lose at the bottom. Too much boobage action for me personally. I feel like if you're smaller chested, okay. And then I just like wrap this around. I like the flower, it's very, very cute. As I said, I think it's a really nice wedding dress for someone who doesn't want the typical, you know, big short wedding dress and maybe eloping at the beach. I think this would be perfect. So, my last item is going to be this bodysuit from Zara. It's size medium and I got it for £23. Couldn't even put it on because there's no actual zip on it and I tried to put it on that way and the bum said no <laughs> and I didn't want to struggle putting it on the other way because I have makeup on and I don't want to destroy something that's or stain something that's white if you know I how do I say because I'm trying it on I don't want to stain it and then if I try it on I don't like it then then I just stained it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if it's gonna be a struggle, it's gonna be a no. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. This is now my outfit I'm gonna wear. The other one I just wore, I'm wearing that tomorrow to the beach. I'm going to Walmart Beach, my bestie. <laughs> Bye! That was the end.